is going on? So my boy Isaac is pulling around four hundred dollars a day. So speaking of that, we're gonna be scaling this to about four thousand a day. And that's what this video is about. Yeah. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to scale an ad set whenever you find a winning campaign. And also mind the background noise because I'm in school right now. All right, see you guys in the video. Today we're going to be going over how to scale winning ad sets. So I have been getting a lot of DMs on how to do this, and I've been kind of putting out like intermediate content. But let's go into the more advanced stuff. So um, I'm gonna have a lot more videos coming out this week, uh, well next week. All right, so let's get straight into it. So how to scale winning ad set by me. All right, so the first step is to correctly identify the winner because I mean I see a lot of people. Like, they DM me, they're like, hey, I have a winning product, uh, how do I scale this? And I'm like, okay, uh, how long has it been running? And they're like, a day. And I'm like, okay, um, I don't think that's like, that's not enough data. Because a lot of people will scale a product, which is profitable for like one or two days. And then on the third day or the second day, their CPP will like go up the roof. Like, it, it'll just go crazy. And it'll go from like, if you're doing like, if you're selling a $15 item, and the CPP is like two bucks for two days, um, it'll end up going to like, I don't know, like seven or ten bucks or twenty, and it's just insane. So this ends up happening because of um, bidding. So I'll be covering that in another video. But um, remember that every product isn't going to make you like a million dollars, like five hundred k. Only a few will. But let's look at an example of a product that I scaled a bit too fast. It was um, it was March, yeah. Whenever it was, it was the start of March, so the campaign literally flunked after. All right, so. As you can see, March 7th, um, that's, I think that was like the third day or second day of running the ad. And I spent 20 bucks, made 120. So cost per purchase was basically four bucks. And the ROAS, ROI, whatever, I like calling it ROI, but um, the ROI was six and it did really well that day. So I decided to go scale it, right? And I, I was scaling it, so it, was, it did decent on the 8th. And the 9th and 10th, that's when I went to crap. Like you can see 23 bucks spent because um, I had the budget. Yeah, I'll, I'll get into like the budget stuff. But um, 23 bucks spent, $0 made. So you can see the change. Like look at that. 20 bucks to make 120, then 20 bucks to make zero. So clearly this campaign flunk because I scaled too fast. I didn't analyze the data, which is something you need to do. You need to analyze the data that you have. All right, so you have to wait this out. So as soon as you get Three to five sales on an ad set everyone's going to tell you to scale but that's when you should focus on the ad set and just let it run i mean if you get three to four i mean three to five sales on an ad set then i would just sort of run for one to three more days just to see what type of data you can get on the ad set because if you just scale it, it like you could get three to five sales in one day and that's not enough like time or data so the decision so after one to three days if you're profitable all one to three days of those one to three day days then um, you can start scaling, which is what we're going to be covering. So what is the method? So um, the method I use to scale all of my campaigns is 20% budget increases, optimizing the product pages, duplicating, and lookalikes. And also, I did not add manual bidding into here because that's like that's a whole nother circus thing. We're going to get into that in another video, just again, because I, I want to keep these videos kind of short and concise. I don't want to have like a 50-minute video. I just want you guys to get the value, go apply it, and then shoot me DM, you know? So, um, we're going to go over 20% budget increases right now. Alright, so 20% budget increases. This is one of the most overlooked methods in dropshipping. I mean, everyone's like, do this and this and this, but nobody really talks about these. So, if you have a winning ad set, like, why would you not pour more, like, more money into it, right? Because you want to compound again and again on that ad set. But um, one thing you guys need to keep in mind is you can't just put the budget at like a million dollars or 10 million because if you end up doing that, then... um. You're gonna like make it's gonna be a hassle, but um, if you could do that, put like you can like if you're spending ten bucks to make a hundred and you put the budget on one million, made ten million. I mean, everyone would be a billionaire by then just because um, you know, it's so easy, but there's so much more like little steps in there. There's, there's a lot of advanced things, but um, Facebook wasn't designed for drastic changes because that's why we have to wait for an ad to even optimize. Because if it was just designed for you to put in your money and get a bunch out, then everyone would be rich. But for this method, what you need to do is you increase the budget every day by 15 to 30 percent. Actually, uh, I, I I've done that before, so um I didn't put that in there. But you can do 30 percent if you're if you're sure if it's a winner. 
But um, I normally do this at 12 a.m. just because um, if you run an ad like at 11 p.m., then what ends up happening is Facebook will spend all your money. So you want to run at 12, that way you get like the whole entire day, whole entire cycle. And um, you're gonna want to test at twenty dollars. I mean, no, I mean, I normally test at twenty dollars, but you, uh, I recommend you test at twenty dollars too, just because um, that's like you get you because uh, a lot of people like put their budget at five dollars and then let it run for four days, which is good. But if you want fast results, I recommend twenty dollars. But um, after one to three days of analyzing, after three to five sales, I'll change my budget to twenty five dollars and twenty cents. So um, if you use Facebook's uh, tool, there's a little tool that says adjust budget in your ads manager, but that is 20% of $20. Then every uh, 48 hours, I recommend you keep increasing the budget over and over again. And I normally go all the way to 250. This is what I did in uh, December and January. Yeah, December and January when I hit 83K and 95K. But um, I... Sometimes the product will stop at like 100 because it will stop being profitable, but usually you should be able to get to 250 just because you're doing 20% every day. But after you reach 250 bucks, you should have over 200 purchases, hands down. But that's where the um, lookalikes come in, which I'll explain on the last slide right here. But anyways, um, so the next step for scaling, optimize your product page. So everyone's talking about literally scaling on Facebook, but why not optimize your product page? So like no one really puts in time to make their images look nice and their description actually persuade the customer to buy. They just kind of slap something on and test it. And you, I mean, you kind of like, you don't really try, but unless you're in the like rare category of people who actually spend like 20 hours testing their product, then um, you're, you're going to like just kind of put it on there and expect to get sales. But um, after finding a winner, what I recommend you do is immediately go to your product page, like stop everything, go to your product page, and start changing everything, like start testing. So go through your descriptions, images, uh, the checkout process, your upsells and everything. Um, change something, then wait six to 12 hours. You can do four hours. Just just wait a little bit of time to see if your conversion rate ends up getting better or worse, because if it gets worse and you know, just revert all the changes, don't really do anything. But if it does end up getting better, then I'll keep it. So. Because the higher conversion rate you have, the more sales you'll have with the same ad spend. Because I'm spending about 5k to make 15k, 20k around there, maybe like yeah, 12k. I cannot 12k like yeah, 14k to 20k. But um, if I can get my and I have like a one point something percent conversion rate or two percent. So if I can get my conversion rate to 10 percent, that's easily 100k in a day with 5k ad spend. All right, on to the next method. This is one of my favorites, but um, it can be a little bit risky because it like kind of determines the longevity of how long you can actually use the product. But um, I have a habit of finding a lot of good products, like a lot of good products. But um, I always end up encountering some problems with Facebook. So screw you, Facebook. I don't know why, but um, you want to think long term. So a lot of people do. I mean, they're like, should I duplicate? Do 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 do. I'm like. Okay, you can duplicate, but don't duplicate 1,000 or like 400 ad sets or something. You expect to become a god because um, out of the duplications, anyways, only 60% of the ads, like, they're going to flunk. And only 40% will work, maybe 30%. But um, if you do 1,000, you're probably going to make like 20K, 30K a day, but um, the product's going to end up dying out like the next day. And it's, it's going to die out forever. So that's not good. And um, your ad spend will be through the roof. Like, you're going to spend like, 15k or 10k to make that 20k or like 20k to make 30k so remember that drop shipping is about profit it's not really about revenue i told it out the hard way take it from me because i went 16k in debt in january wrong hassle but now we gucci so um remember that it's about profit and doing 40 to 60 so only around like i'd say 25 will work but um this allows you to use the product to make like 5k 6k 7k a day every single day for three weeks to a year, yeah, a year. I've heard, I've seen people use one product for a year because it's so broad, it's insane. Like you can use one product for a year, that's crazy. So um, just you duplicate the ad set, kill what doesn't work, and scale what does work. And um, we'll get into bidding in another video because again, it's a circus. All right, so we're nearing, we're getting near the end. So I'm just gonna cover lookalikes, then um, the scaling process, like the whole entire um thing, and then what I've done with this. So. Okay, what's an LLA? So a lookalike is basically, um, I mean, there's different types of lookalikes, but I'm going to go over purchase real fast. So purchase means whenever um, 
So let's say you get a sale, you get an email, right? And what ends up happening is Facebook takes that email and tracks it to a Facebook profile. And then they find a literally like, they find a replica of that profile and then they advertise to the profile. So it's like a copy of your customer. And for lookalikes, you, you'll be building up data in one specific country. So I recommend you start them after 200 orders and that because your pixel will have more data. So, you know, and um, also don't forget about view content and add to cart lookalikes. I didn't do them in January or December. I probably missed out on like 200k because I was I was pretty stupid. But um, these can sometimes be a lot more profitable than purchase lookalikes, so keep that in mind. And now let's go over the actual method. All right, so run one to five percent of view content, add to cart, and purchase lookalikes at a twenty dollar budget. Again, kill the ones that don't work. Use the twenty percent method. And then after a couple couple of hundred sales. Um, you'll have data, like you'll have a, quite a bit of data, and then you can run six to ten percent because those are the bigger sized audiences. And um, you know, just make sure you're updating the local likes. All right, and then this is the overview because I want to keep this video under like twelve minutes. But overall scaling process: basically, find an ad set, three to five sales, analyze it to make sure it's giving you profit and it's not just like a one day flunk. But um, duplicate it and then um, analyze it until they spend fifteen to twenty bucks because. After um, they spend 15 to 20, you can determine if you want to kill it or not. And um, after killing them, just optimize your product page and test that out for one to three days. You can, you can do it for under a day, but I recommend you do it for one to three days. And then um, after those one to three days, do 20% budget increases on all of the profitable ad sets and start lookalikes after 200 to 500 orders because you need data. And also, you can't do a lookalike under 100 um, orders. I mean, for view content, it, for view content and add to cart, it's really easy. You guys can like create a look like after you get. Um, I recommend I'd recommend you just wait until you get a hundred purchases because that means you have enough data for all three. So with this all, managed to hit nine point one k overnight at fifteen years old. Again, pretty cool because you know I'm fifteen hitting nine k while I'm sleeping. Okay, I not overnight because I did wake up at like eleven. But yeah, that's overnight. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, go drop a subscribe because you know we gotta get to that one K mark. We're at like two hundred right now. So go, go subscribe. But um, yeah, I'll see you all later. And tomorrow's video is going to be fire. So peace, guys.